is the plant support tower. Do you ever remember trying to, you know, you know, like use the, the garden stakes and the chicken wire if you're growing tomatoes and it's not very sturdy and it doesn't look pretty. And for a lot of us that are doing patio gardens where we're also growing our vegetables right on our patio, we not only we want it to look beautiful, we want it to function. Well, this is a gorgeous garden support tower, but there's so much more that you can do with it than just for your tomatoes and your cucumbers and, you know, your vining plants it's gonna give you a lot of versatility. The black was by far the most popular in our first presentation. There's only four dozen to go around. I also have it in this beautiful aged copper. Keep in mind, with Linda's collection, if you're picking up on any of the copper or any of the galvanized metal, it all coordinates. Now, in the copper, under 20 to go around. In the galvanized, that's another really great choice. 100 to go around. 20 inches in height is just about three pounds, so you've got sturdy. And then the diameter is about 12 and a quarter inches on this one. So M72407. So Linda, what inspired this? And then how else can we use it in our garden? Well, I think I may have mentioned that I found this at an antique store and I had them in my own garden. And at that time I had a really elaborate potage and in each quadrant of the potage, I had one of these beautiful, beautiful oh. plant supports and plant towers. And I had, uh, tall dill and different kinds of herbs spilling out of them, zinnias at different times of year. And I was just so frequently asked about them. Where did I get them? Well, because they were a one-off, I couldn't provide a source to any of those asking. So be, with uh, in conjunction with QVC, we designed them ourselves. And look at just how wonderful it is in and of itself. If you had nothing else in your garden for winter interest, this would be absolutely beautiful, especially covered in snow and falling into all of those cracks and crevices. But also I've got one of these right by my door in my hat rack and I can put in a walking stick. I can hang my umbrella on it and it is just so practical. You could also put this right outside your door and you could prop your, your long head shears or something like that in it. Mm -hmm. But as I was saying earlier, how I'm in using them increasingly in my own house and that as small side tables. So if you sometimes entertain outside, but not all of the time, and you want just a quick temporary and mobile side table, I love that. then you, you just take any kind of tray. This would look great on that galvanized. Yeah, it would. You put any kind of tray on there and voila, you have a lightweight table mm -hmm. that you can then transport from one location to another, poolside or on your back patio or on your front porch or by your uh, husband's overstuffed chair. <laughs> you can really use them almost anywhere. And even as I said earlier, you know, for apartment dwellers, college students, where you need something that's just really makeshift, come and go kind of furnishings, this is just brilliant. Well, Linda, my daughter, she's eight, and she's got stuffed animals coming out of her ears. And this <laughs> actually could be, and she also really desperately needs a nightstand because she's yeah. been using an alarm clock more regularly. And that's really all, a place to put her, her glass of water and a, and a, a night, a, a, her alarm clock. This mm -hmm. with a tray on top. And then you know what could be filled inside? All of her little stuffies. How cute. Yeah. Would that be? Would be absolutely adorable. Or yeah. I'm also thinking those of us that like to knit or needlepoint. Oh, yes. You could put this next to your chair, put a basket in it. Great and then idea. you set your basket in there with all of your yarns and your threads and your needles. You don't even have to bend over to get your supplies out of the basket. Right. It's there at the ready. You could also use it as a magazine stand, a mm -hmm. book table, just really anything where it's, it's easy access that is elegant and stately. So in the garden, yes, it's your support, support tower for your vining vegetables, your tomatoes, your cucumbers, your vining plants. Perfect, right? in the ground or in a beautiful pot. But what if you put the pot right on top and now it's a plant stand? What if you do what Linda Absolutely. said and you put a tray or you go to the craft store and you get a piece of glass or a marble board or I think too, I've got cutting boards 
oversized coffee table books and trays on top. Now I've got a side table because when we entertain, we often have to rearrange furniture a little bit out on the deck mm -hmm. and even in the living room to add for and accommodate for a few more chairs. Well, I don't have side tables there. So where is my friend going to set her cappuccino or her glass of wine yes. or sparkling water, yes. right? You now yes. have that, that extra space. Right. It's so smart, Linda. Okay, so black is one color that was very popular. The aged copper, I actually want this one in my kitchen. My Nespresso machine has copper accents. And then Ooh, one of my beautiful. our sweet hosts here, Pat James Dementry, one year for my birthday, she got me copper like salt and pepper shakers. So I have those sitting out. So I've kind of stepped into some copper accents. So that's really kind of fun. And then we also have the galvanized metal as well. So between the aged copper and the galvanized metal, those have a little bit of that antiquing, that distressing. The black is all solid. So if you're someone that has more, you know, maybe much more traditional or more modern or like mid-century decor, it's just solid black, right? There's no antiquing. But I really think any of them kind of morph and work with so many different decor palettes. Yeah. Lydia, you know, you've got such could, a great eye for design. Well, we could think outside the box here because think of the things that could corral that we use outside, our pickleball, our right? pickleball balls and yeah. paddles our basketballs, uh, the, the pool toys that we use, all of those could be corralled very beautifully inside these towers. And like I say, they are, they are really sturdy. They're formidable. They're not gonna topple over mm -hmm. easily. So you could just morph them from one use into another use based on whatever it is you've got going on out in your own living areas and in your garden spaces. And that's a signature of all of the collection. Everything is a great multitasker inside and out. Yeah, it's and it's really, a, they're a smart design function and beauty and you might find that over the years because you will have this for years and years to come how you're using it might change a little bit mm -hmm. you know maybe the family decides to get a family pet and this is storing all the little puppy toys right yes. 41 dollars yes. and 11 cents i was like linda when you said if you've got things to corral in your house i've got a lot of things to corral including a <laughs> six and an eight year old you know so there's lots of things that need to be grouped together and contained but in your garden, it's exceptional. In a, in a basic, uh, you know, uh, planter, and then you have this on top. It adds so much beauty and interest. But then to Linda's ideas, it it could be a side table. It's extra storage. It can be, um, you know, a way for you to store some of your gardening tools propped upright in your garage. Do you have some of those longer tools that just feel like they're always falling over? I mean, how beautiful even in a utility closet with your broom and a sweep. And maybe we've got one of those long window cleaners with a pole. Like all of this right here would look a lot more attractive than the clump that they are right now in the laundry room. This one is the galvanized. We also have the copper for our decorative plant support tower and then the black. 4111, grab more than one. There's only two dozen left in the black and a lot of you are picking up on more than one choice. Linda, it was so nice to spend the hour with it you. It was so fun to spend it with you, Allie. Oh, I hope to do it again. Thank you so much for bringing all your design ideas to us here at QVC. You bet. Happy spring. Oh, happy spring. Thanks, Linda.